Today we're going to level this fourplex, and it's become quite an attraction over the last several years for squatters, uh, copper thieves, and I understand from from uh, Commander Sailor that most of the copper and other residual metal scraps have been already taken from this property, and other types of criminal activities that bring about calls for service and delirious uh, qualities of life for our citizens. This past October, a transient set fire to one of these units behind us and further damaging the already dilapidated structure. Clearly the structure is unsafe and it's been a problem for this community and today we're happy to eliminate this problem on this foreclosed and uh, abandoned property. Again, I'd like to say, say thanks to the Safe City Strike Force and Criminal Nuisance Abatement and all the other folks of the city and uh, Councillor, Councillor Harris for the resolution to get this building demolished and clean up this particular block in the city of Albuquerque. We look forward to seeing the property transformed into a new, new property that better represents the community and our city, provides more utility, benefits, safer streets, and quality of life for the citizens. Uh, thank you very much, Commander Saylor. Councillor Harris, please. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Perry. Well, the mayor and the city council take these things very seriously. We have a great safe city strike force. And we're making the city of Albuquerque a little bit safer, a little bit better. Uh, instead of building it up one brick at a time, sometimes you have to tear it down one brick at a time. But this is a good day for the city of Albuquerque. And it's important that people know that we just don't take these steps lightly. We have worked with the property owners and with the lien holders over a period of several months, and in fact, several years. But when we have to take action and when everything else fails, then we resort to this. We tear it down, we, we file a lien against the property, and if the property owner doesn't uh, pay off the lien, then we will actually foreclose that lien and we'll own it, and then we will sell it to someone who will do something better. So again, um, this is not the ideal way to make things safer, but it, it works, and we're happy to do it.